Hello and welcome to this episode of Creating with Howcraft. My name is Denise Yesbackmore with howcraftcollection.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create my Naker bracelet. This bracelet was designed using the new Mother of Pearl beads and freshwater pearl beads just added to howcraftcollection.com. The tools we will need for this project are wire cutters, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers. We will be using 24 gauge wire. You will also need some eye pins, a couple of head pins, a six millimeter jump ring and a clasp. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found on howcraftcollection.com search Naker bracelet. We are gonna start off by creating our simple loops. So we're gonna grab an eye pin and we are stringing our oval mother of pearl bead and then we're just going to bend that wire back and then using our wire cutters we're going to come in cut about that much off using our round nose pliers we're going to come back in and we're going to roll the wire towards us to form a simple loop. I'm coming in now and I'm straightening out the loop. We're coming back in now and we are going to make our simple loops for our freshwater pearls. So we grab an eye pin. We're gonna pick up our freshwater pearl. We're gonna bend that wire down we come back in with our wire cutters right about there. We're going to trim that end. Coming back in with our round nose pliers, we're going to form our simple loop and we're just rolling the wire towards us. So the loops aren't facing the same size. So I'm just going to come back in and do a twist and now they are facing the same way. So let's do that one more time. So you can see how to form the simple loop. So there's our bead strung. We're gonna bend the wire down. We're gonna pick up our wire cutters, trim that end. And we're just rolling the wire towards us. In order to save time, I finished my six simple loops on my freshwater pearls. Now we're going to chain these together to create this chain. So we're going to come in and we are going to open the loop. The loop is open the same way that you would open and close a jump ring. So we're gonna open that loop and we're gonna attach it and close the loop. We're gonna come back in. We're gonna open that loop, attach the next pearl, close it. Open the loop, attach the next pearl, close it, open the loop, attach the next pearl, close it, open the loop, Attach the next pearl, close it, and then we're going to open the loop, 
attach our last pearl, close it, and now we have created a chain. Now we're gonna cut about an eight inch length of 24 gauge wire and we are going to form a wrapped loop. So using our round nose pliers, we're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back and we're going to switch hands and we are going to wrap one, two, three. We're going to take that off of there and we're going to grab our wire cutters, trim that little end. We're going to flatten out our loop and we're going to tuck this little wire down. Now we're going to pick up one of our freshwater pearl. Nuggets. And we're going to string that down to the bottom. And we're going to form another wrap to loop. So we're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wires back. Okay, we're going to wrap a little bit different now uh, because we're going to use the rest of this wire and I don't want any um, little crimps in the wire. So we're going to grab it with our fingers. We're going to take it around. You're going to wrap one, two, three. And then we're going to pull it off. We're going to come back in and straighten our loop. Let's make sure our loops are facing the same way. Now we're going to come in and we're going to bring that wire down. And we're going to wrap it around the back of the loop and then we're going to bring the wire up and we're going to do a complete loop. So now we're facing the back side of the pearl and we're going to bring the wire up. We're going to do half, bring that wire down and then we're going to wrap one, two. We're going to grab our wire cutters and we're going to trim that little end and then we're going to straighten out our loops. Tap that little wire down and then there's our wire wrapped pearl nugget. We need to make three of these wire wrapped pearls and we're gonna be chaining, to get, chaining them together as we go. So we have created our first wire wrap pearl. So now we are gonna make a partial wire wrap to connect to the first wire wrap pearl. So we're gonna bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, and I just want to make sure that loop looks good. We're going to take it off and we're going to attach it to the previous wrap. And using our round nose pliers, we're just going to grab it right there. We're going to flip hands and then we're going to grab the wire. And we are going to wrap one two, three. Grab our wire cutters. Trim that little end. And then 
we're going to come back in and try to flatten out this loop. Tap that little wire down. We're going to grab our next little nugget pearl and we're going to slide that down. Using our round nose pliers, we are going to form our wrapped loop. So we're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back. And we're going to come in, straighten out that loop. And now we're using our fingers again on the wire and we are going to wrap one, two, three. You can wire wrap this way and it creates really nice wraps, but the problem is, is you need to have pretty long wire. So if you're trying to conserve on your wire, you have to use your um, chain nose pliers. If you're not concerned about conserving on your wire, you can certainly wrap the wraps with your fingers. So let's come in. Let's flatten down that loop. We're going to flip it around. I'm going to hold this loop and I'm going to bring the wire down. And I'm going to wrap it around halfway and bring that wire up. And then we're going to wrap it around one time. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to bring that wire down halfway and then we're bringing the wire up and we're going to wrap one two let's flip it over trim off that little end we're going to straighten out our loops and tap that little wire down. We're going to complete our last pearl wrap. So we're grabbing our round nose pliers. We're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards us, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back. We're just going to come in and make sure that loop looks good. We're going to take it off and we're connecting it with our round nose pliers. We're going to grab it right there. And then we're going to grab our chain nose pliers and we are going to wrap one, two, three. Come in with our wire cutters. We're trimming that end. We're going to flatten out our loop and tap down the wire. We're going to grab our last freshwater pearl. Then using our round nose pliers, we're going to form a wrapped loop, bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, and then come in and eyeball it. Make sure that loop is nice and straight. And once again, we're using our fingers and we're going to wrap one, two, three. We're going to take it off there. Come back in. We're going to flatten that loop. Make sure that loop is nice and straight. And we're going to flip it around. And we're just going to bring that wire down. And we're just going to wrap it around the back side of the wire wrapped loop. Bring the wire up. We're going to wrap it around one time and then we're going to turn it to the opposite side and we're going to bring that wire down and we're going to wrap it around the back side 
bring that wire up and we're going to wrap one, two. Flip it around, come off the end of the wire, make sure your loops are nice and straight. Let's connect this end to this end. We're just going to come in and open our simple loop, attach the end, and close that loop. We need to create one more simple loop with one of the really cool, I love these mother of pearl birds that were just added to howcraftcollection.com. So we're gonna pick up the mother of pearl bird and we're gonna string it onto our eye pin and we're just gonna bend that wire. We're gonna bend that wire back and then we're gonna trim the wire. And we are going to create our simple loop using our round nose pliers. We're just going to roll the wire towards us. And then we want to make sure our loops are facing the same way. So I just kind of bent them a little bit. And then I'm going to open this loop connect the end of the chain and close the loop. We're now going to attach the clasp using a six millimeter jump ring. This is how you open and close a jump ring. You never pull it apart. So we open the jump ring. We're going to attach it to the bird side and then we're going to come back in and close the jump ring. We're going to attach our lobster clasp to the other end. So we're just going to open that simple loop, grab our lobster clasp, and close the loop. And there we have the completed bracelet. And now we're going to add our dangles. Our first angle is going to be the mother of pearl rectangle. So I'm just using a head pin and I strung the mother of pearl rectangle and we're gonna form a wrapped loop. So we're gonna bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards us, move the pliers to the side, then we're gonna bend the wire back and we're going to line up the loop so it's nice and round and we're going to switch hands and we are going to wrap one, two, three, and I think I'm going to go a little bit more because I see a little tiny gap. And then using our wire cutters, we're going to come back in. We're going to trim that little end using our chain nose pliers. We're going to flatten out the loop and tap that little wire down. Now we're going to open our jump ring. Open the jump ring, we're attaching it, and we're just gonna close that jump ring. Next, we're going to form our smaller pearl dangles, the dangles that are right over here. So we're stringing our freshwater pearl onto a beaded head pin. We're just gonna bend that wire down. We're gonna come back in with our wire cutters. We're going to trim that in and then we're grabbing our round nose pliers. We're going to form our simple loop. One, two, three. 
we rolled the wire towards us. It's usually about a three-step rolling for me. Could be different for you. So let's set that there. We're gonna grab another pearl. We're gonna string that pearl. We're gonna bend that wire down. We're gonna trim that end. And then we're gonna roll towards us. Now we're gonna come back in and attach those little dangles. Attach one, two, and we're just gonna close that jump ring. Let's form our last dangle on the other side of the bracelet by the lobster clasp. So we're gonna pick up the mother of pearl bird and another freshwater pearl. We're gonna form our last simple loop. We're just bending that wire down. And we're coming in. We're trimming that end. And now we're gonna form our simple loop, rolling the wire towards us. And we're gonna come in and we are going to open that loop and I'm connecting it right at the little loop next to the lobster clasp. And then we're going to close that loop. Our bracelet is now complete. This is the perfect bracelet for summer. Could also go into winter because it's a very chic looking bracelet. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Howcraft USA. Uh, click the little bell to receive notifications on when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at Howcraft Collection Beads. Be sure to visit howcraftcollection.com for more inspirational DIY projects and all your jewelry making needs. New beads are added weekly with a fabulous sale. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.